All right, so as promised, I'll show you guys how you can cut plywood by hand. Now, obviously, most people are going to use a circular saw or something like that, but in the spirit of trying to be as absolute minimalist as possible, let's show you that it actually can be done with a decent saw. Right, let's just quickly talk for a second about the saw. So, what I'm going to do is use a saw, something like this. So, this saw is a kind of a store-bought hardware store kind of run-of-the-mill saw it's made by Irwin I'm sure there are lots of other brands like it but this saw is both a, it's a combination saw so it's a cross-cut saw and a rip saw now cross-cutting is when you're going across the grain and ripping is when you're going with the grain but plywood has both you say I can already hear you saying but yes and that's why you've got to use a saw like this because if you use a saw that is one or the other then the teeth are going to be effective in every second layer because the layers are going in different directions. One of the things you can't do is use a Japanese saw. So if you have a Japanese saw, um, a sort of the pull saw variety, um, whether it's a Ryoba saw or a Dakuzi or whatever it is, you can't use that to cut plywood. In fact, as a general rule, let's just say that Japanese saws and plywood aren't friends because it'll destroy the teeth of your saw so keep your teeth of your saw for solid woods and those sorts of things but don't use it to cut plywood okay so the kind of saw you want to use to cut plywood is something like this it's a store-bought combination saw and it's perfect for the job it'll get the job done nice and quickly a nice long saw with a long stroke so a long blade makes it a lot faster so i'll crack on and show you guys how to do it okay so when you are actually going to cut this ideally you want to cut in a motion where you are down. So you want to put your shoulder weight and your body weight into it. As you can see, I have plenty body weight, so it's easy for me to lean down on it and then just pull back up. Okay, so how do we do this straight? So let's say we want to cut a piece of plywood here that is as long as this. And for the sake of space, I've chosen a smaller piece. Plus, I'm too lazy to cut a whole big sheet, but you'll get the idea anyway. What I want to do is have a guide for my saw because not everybody can cut straight all the time so let's imagine that that's the line that I want to cut I've clamped a piece of wood onto my board just to kind of give me some rough idea but hey just because I want to make life really easy for myself I'm going to take another straight edge or another piece of straight wood and I'm going to clamp that to my board at about the distance away from that at about slightly thicker than the saw blade so just on my cut line I'm going to take that and clamp that to the board so i'm going to take two more clamps just like that and here's what i'm going to do i'm just going to clamp those guys onto there and that will just give me visually and also like a, almost like a fence it'll give me an idea of where my saw can or cannot go it's going to be very hard for me to wander off course now because i have basically created a channel okay so here we go the secret to sawing is try not to try too hard. The second you're trying too hard, something's going wrong. You let the saw do the work. I know people say, but you have to push the saw back and forth. But if I fight this, it'll be harder. If I just go back and forth and let the saw do what it does, you'll get there. So let's give it a crack. I'm going to lean onto the saw horse over here, start my sawing over here, and off we go. Hey presto, that's how fast you can cut plywood by hand. So, let's have a look at how straight we cut. See if we did a decent job. And there you have it. We have a relatively straight edge, it's not too bad. There it is. It's not 100% perfect, but it's close enough that I can sand it straight or I can plane it straight with a small hand plane. Moral of the story really is that you don't need a great big saw to cut plywood. I mean, you saw me do that. It probably took me under a minute to actually saw that piece of plywood. So a decent saw, give yourself a bit of a chance with a decent guide or some sort of a, a cheat fence or something like that. And you can definitely get it done. So don't be disheartened if you don't have a great big circular saw or you don't want to spend money on those sorts of things. You absolutely can cut plywood by hand. All you need to know is where your lines are, the kind of saw that you're going to use, make sure that you've got a combination hand saw. A nice long saw works a lot better than a small little saw. Invest in a saw. 
they're not that expensive and they're actually very very useful so give it a try you never know you might like using hand tools it's quiet there's no electricity required and you get a workout one of the ways that you can make your life easier when you're cutting plywood whether it be by hand or using machinery like a circular saw or even a table saw is to spend some time planning your cuts now you know what the dimensions of your big sheet are so it's a four by eight foot sheet or a 1.2 by 2.4 meter sheet more or less and the idea is to try and maximize your material in other words have as little wastage as possible how you can do that is you can of course just sit with a sketch pad and you can draw out your components on a shape that's about that same size you can draw a scale shape of it and try and work out your cuts there are some great software programs available so things like max cut if you're a pc user if you are a regular plywood user and you're going to universal plywood to get all your plywood then absolutely download the program because it'll help you save money get your work done more efficiently and you'll be able to plan your offcuts. Now that's quite a cool thing because it means that you can use one sheet and plan two or three projects. If you're planning ahead, you can actually pre-cut some of the stuff for your next project if you're already doing your cutting. Okay, so if you want to save some money on uh, buying expensive tools, you can cut stuff by hand. And uh, what do you do with that extra money? Well, I suppose, you know, coming up for the festive season, you can spend it on beer, um, which is, you know, I'm all for that. Um, I suppose you can buy more tools, or you can buy more plywood, or you can buy more beer. Um, did I mention you could buy more beer? I'm pretty sure I'd... Yeah, I think beer. Go for the beer first, I think. And then, you know, maybe some tools. Yeah, I mean, like, if you're going to save money, I mean, you deserve a beer, right? I mean, you, in fact, you deserve probably a six-pack at least. Save money and buy beer. Cut plywood by hand and buy beer. I'm all for it. Efficiency equals beer. That's the way it works in my workshop, anyway. Should work like that in yours, too.